hello friends uh, today i am going to demonstrate how to uh, how to add a remote linux client and its services into nagios monitoring server using nrpe agent uh, in my previous video i have demonstrated how to install nagios server on centos 7 i hope you already have installed nagios server nrpe allows nagios server to discover client host resources and their services through the network okay uh, let's uh, get start to the installation first you need to login into the uh, remote host and we have to install some prerequisites and some required libraries okay then we need to install latest EPEL uh, repository package using this command and using this command you need to install EPEL release package I have already installed and do a yum update at this moment I don't have any updates available then we are ready to install nrpe package and then we need to update nrpe configuration file nrpe main configuration file which resides under under etc nagios directory etc nagios nrpe dot cfg and simply look for uh, allowed host section in this section you have to define your nagio server private ip address at this time i'm going to enter my nagio server's private ip as 172.25.10.50 save and exit and then uh, you need to allow nrpe service port through the firewall and reload the firewall finally we need to enable the service and then we need to restart the service to reflect the changes now check with the service is running okay now uh, client side configuration almost ready now head over to nagios server in the nagios server first we need to create a directory that will store the configuration files for each server that you will need to monitor under this directory user local nagios etc i'm going to create a directory called host and then we need to create a new configuration file for the uh, new host that i'm going to add now in this directory In this case, I am going to uh, add all the host definitions, host, the, uh, host uh, definition configuration and service definitions into a single file. You can see here, this is my host definition for CL1 host machine. This is the host name. Here is IP address of the uh, host machine and rest, rest of the others are the services in here you can see under the service definition uh, configuration section hostname cl1 check command check team
I will put all these configuration examples in my website. You can see my website, uh, and I'll uh, drop the link in the description. And then we need to modify Nagios main configuration file. Let's head over to main configuration file, which resides under user local Nagios etc directory. And then we need to add uh, cl1.cfg file path into main configuration file. Uh, move down a little bit here, and you can see here definitions for monitoring local Linux host section. And then copy this section and define this path our CL1 host machine uh, configuration path and save and exit sometimes you may need to define new con commands uh, to accomplish your task and monitoring so let's head over to user local nagios etc objects directory there will be a uh, file called commands Simply go down into the file you can see here there are so many commands available for the ping check ping check DHCP IMAP like those things move down to in here you can see I have pasted already an additional command to uh, check my DNS I have uh, I already have customized my command this is the command definition section for the check DNS command and save and exit now we need to verify the configuration that we have made previously using this command okay uh, there's no any errors detected there's no any warnings you can see here there are two hosts available 14 services one host groups okay now it uh, seems like good to go we need to restart like your service and apache service and then check whether the services are running okay uh, now uh, all the configuration steps has been completed i think it will be helpful for you to at Linux host to Nagios monitoring server using an RPE plugin. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, bye bye.